June and Stu Irwin in Trouble with Father. Now remember, Jackie, you, you bring your putter back slowly like this. Then you bring it forward and stroke the ball and follow through, you see? <laughs> Made it, Sal. You did it. All right, now you try it by yourself. Get up a little closer to the ball. Now, all right, slowly. Back, easy, easy. Right now, forward. My goodness, look at this room. No, Mom, I have spoiled my shot. Excuse me, Patty Bird, but the living room is hardly the place to practice golf. Come on, now, let's get it tidied up before Kenneth gets here. Kenneth who? Oh, you know, Dad, Kenny Stewart. Oh. He's taking Joyce to a dance tonight. He's a very brilliant young man, got a hundred in trigonometry. He must be brilliant. Am I not wonderful? Oh, you look lovely. Do you like it, Dad? Why, Joyce, you look... very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jackie, get these golf things out of here. Sue, pick up those comic books. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here, take these two. Gosh, Mom, what's so great about Kenny that we have to go cleaning up the whole house for him? You just wait, young lady, until you start having dates. Catch me getting goony over some boy. <laughs> Why, Kenneth, I just adore to go to the dance with you. Oh, I don't sound like that. Uh -oh. That must be Kenneth. I'll get it. <laughs> Why, hello, Kenneth. Won't you come in? You see what I mean? That must be Kenneth. <laughs> Hiya, Kenny. Hi, Jackie. Hello, Hello Kenneth. Mr. Good evening, Hello, Kenneth. Mr. Irwin. <laughs> you look very pretty tonight, Joyce. Oh, thanks, Ken. She comes by it naturally. Mrs. Irwin was very pretty when she was young. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly doddering, dear. Oh, honey, I didn't mean it exactly that way. Well, we better get started. I'm all ready. I won't keep Joyce out too late, Mr. Irwin. I'm sure of that, Kenneth. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Irwin. Thank you, Kenneth. I'll bet you were pretty when you were young. Thank you. I don't know that he's so brilliant. <laughs> Our little girl is growing up, Mommy. Why, in a few more years, she'll be getting married. Yes, I suppose so. That'll be the day. And then, before you know it, there'll be a little one calling you Grandma. Well, don't forget, it'll be calling you Grandpa, too. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder how it feels. Well, we have a few more years to find out. Uh-huh. Sue, how do you think you'll feel about being a grandfather? I mean, do you think you'll mind? Oh, no, I won't mind being a grandfather. Of course, I don't know how I like being married to a grandmother. Well, that's the end. <laughs> oh, June, uh, turn on the radio and get the news broadcast, will you? And I feel that any reactionary... Lady, are you guarding your beauty against those telltale lines? Remember, age takes a woman first by the hand, and then by the throat. More coffee, dear? No, thanks. I have plenty. Hey, it's almost 10 hours. Mm -hmm. Hurry, Dad. Mm -hmm. Bye, darling. Bye, dear. Mm -hmm. Jackie, your lunchbox. Oh, Stu, you forgot your sunglasses. Thanks, Mom. You know, Mom, the way you take care of Dad, you could be his mother. His mother? Hi, Duke. Got any coffee left? Oh, sure, Adele. Sit down. I'll get you a cup. All right. What are you reading? I know you laugh at me. You always do. But I think it's highly important. Francois Paris is going to be at Franco's department store for three days. Who's Francois? Who's Francois? Well, he's just about the most famous beauty expert in the whole world. He is? Yes, and he's going to give his personal advice on beauty secrets. He is? Mm -hmm. Just read what it says there. Ladies, perpetual youth can be yours for the asking. Don't be shackled by years. Can you do now when this man knows his business? Just look at those famous motion picture actresses. Do you think they'd let themselves be pushed into middle age? No, sir. And I say they're right. You bet they're right. Huh? You'd never find their grandfathers being married to grandmothers. What? And nothing is going to get me by the throat. Hey, there. Not as long as there's a Francois at Franco's department store. 
Down, girl, down. You have not come here a day too soon, my dear Mrs. Irwin. See those tiny lines that are forming around the corners of your eyes? Oh, they're just laugh lines. My husband says they add character to one's face. Laugh lines turn into wrinkles. Besides, you will soon learn that when your husband alone admires you, he will not admire you too long. Oh, my. Oh, but we do not fret. I give you the basic secret. Night cream. My own secret formula for smoothing away the cares of the day while you sleep. Oh, thank you very much. What is five dollars for such beauty insurance, Nespa? Five dollars. And here we have the morning cream. Huh? And uh, uh, this is the wake-up lotion. Oh, with... but Mr. Francois. Oh, we do wish to wake up the skin, do we not? <laughs> but you know, we must not fret. Remember our forehead. And now we must find the most suitable hairstyling. We want something best suited to your uh, uh, basic type face. And most of all, it must do things for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> voilà. Oh, June. June, I'm home. June, I'm home. I'm coming, dear. Hello, dear. Oh, you've been lying down, huh? Lying down? What makes you say that? The way your hair's all mussed up. What? I hope dinner's ready. I'm hungry. Mother! Mother, I can't find my cashmere sweater anyplace. I know it came back from the cleaners. I put it away. Mother! Oh, uh, well, I just wanted to see what I'd look like in one. Oh, but you'll stretch it all out of shape. Besides, a cardigan with a Peter Pan collar is hardly appropriate. I suppose you two discuss fashions later. Right now, I'm starved. June, how about combing your hair and fixing dinner, okay? My hair is combed. In a page, boy? Francois says it suits my type perfectly. Oh, Mother, you didn't fall for that routine of his at Frankel's, did you? You did. Hmm. You went for the whole work. This is something you wouldn't understand. Yeah, let me see that. Night cream, five dollars. Five dollars? Wake up lotion, ten dollars. That's enough to wake up the dead. Oh, June, uh, these are just samples, aren't they? June, please, tell me you didn't actually buy this junk. I used the check you gave me for my birthday last month, so it was my own money. Well, this is the most asinine, ridiculous thing I... I refuse to quarrel. Quarreling causes inner emotion, which in turn reflects upon the face, creating lines, tense muscles, and an aging appearance. I'll prepare dinner, dear. Well, don't strain yourself. Just a lollipop or two will be ginger peachy. Here, put this stuff out of sight. It's spoiling my appetite. Dad, may I speak to you? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. What's your problem, Joyce? It's your problem as well. It's about Mother. What about her? What's gotten into her? I mean, all this business about her wanting to be so young all of a sudden. Oh, it's just a phase she's going through. Probably more time on her hands now that Jackie's a big girl. After all, your mother's still a young woman. I know, but how young does she want to be? Wearing my clothes and that silly hairdo. Now, don't you worry about it. Fundamentally, she's sensible and intelligent. She'll come to her senses. I don't know. It seems as though her whole personality's changed all of a sudden. Why, at dinner, she acted sort of giggly. Yeah, I noticed that. Maybe she's lightheaded from cutting off so much hair. <laughs> oh, Dad, it's not funny. <laughs> if you ask me, there's something psychological about it. Oh, yeah. Why, just the other day, I was reading an article about how husbands take their wives for granted. Now, don't you try to blame me for this. That's precisely the male point of view. After all, Dad, there may be something about marriage you don't understand. 
Joyce, when a man's been married 20 years, there's nothing he doesn't understand. Joyce Irwin, if you think I'm going to do all those dishes by myself while you sit here talking to Daddy, I'll be there in just a minute. Uh, where's Mother? Mom said from now on we have to do the dishes. Join me. Joyce and I have to do the dishes. Oh, are you going to do them, Daddy? Jackie. Anyway, Mom said it's bad for her hands. Oh, for goodness sakes. Where is she now? Upstairs shortening a skirt. Oh. That must be the Johnsons. Mom said to tell you they're coming over. I'll bet Adele Johnson has something to do with it. Oh, I don't think so, Dad. Uh, Stu, hello, Harry. Adele. <laughs> Hi, Stu. Where's June? Uh, upstairs. Uh, June! Oh, I'll get her. Oh, wait a minute, Joyce. How do you like my new poodle? Oh, uh, it's very nice, Mrs. Johnson. They say I look ten years younger. Younger than what? Don't be tired from Harry. <laughs> well, come on, sit down. <laughs> uh, hello, Adele, Harry. Oh, hello, June. I, I brought the exercise chart. Oh, good. Oh, uh, why don't you two play canasta? Adele and I have something to do for a little while. Oh, you, you shortened your skirt. <laughs> My, it looks darling. Thank you. I can't wait to try these exercises. Now, you two boys amuse yourselves till we come back down. Uh. Come on. Anybody for marbles? Huh? <laughs> Looks like somebody was losing them around here. They certainly are getting young. Say. If this keeps up, I wouldn't be surprised to see them skipping rope. What do you suppose started all this? I don't know. Harry, about you and Adele, have you been, you know, paying her enough attention? Well, I haven't told her her lips are like a crushed rose lately, if that's what you mean. Well, now, that may be the trouble. Oh, go on, you're kidding. <laughs> No. This whole thing with Adele and June could be psychological. The result of our not being attentive to them, taking them for granted. Oh, psychological, my foot. They're no different from all women, scared to death of growing old. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's a good thing we men aren't like that. Imagine you becoming panicky because your hair is getting a little thin on top. Oh, I don't know. I have plenty left. Oh, oh, oh. What about you? <laughs> waistline out to there. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> What's that? I told Jackie not to play ball in the house. Jackie! 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 Stop playing ball! I've told you 50 times not to... Did you want me, Daddy? <clears throat> yes. How many times have I told you? That's not you up there. What is it? Mrs. Johnson and Mom are exercising. Oh, well, I'll put a stop to that before they knock the ceiling down. Do it. Huh? Uh, I've got an idea. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, you go up and do your homework if the Bobsy twins will let you. <laughs> now, what is it? Now, you've got a good thought there about this thing with the girls being psychological. That's Adele. I'd know that thump anywhere. <laughs> now, we've got to put a stop to this before it goes any farther. I guess so. June, of all people falling for this youth routine. Well, what are you going to do? We'll fight fire with fire. If you think for one minute I'm going to get a crew haircut, we'll turn back the clock 20 years. Now, uh, we'll take the girls out on a good old-time young date. Adele and I used to go dancing. <laughs> You'd never believe it, but June used to be crazy about Ferris wheels and roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> so the little women want to be young again, huh? We'll see them in action. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Left. <laughs> right. <laughs> Left. You know, you two girls make me feel ashamed. Why? The way you take such good care of yourself. Yes, only just now I was saying to Harry, Harry, you'd never believe that those two have been married 20 years. They look just like young girls. Why, Stu, how sweet. Yes, sir, age is nothing more than a state of mind. Why, most people laugh at women who try to stay young. Well, let them laugh. I'm not going to grow old gracefully. No, sir, I'll fight to the finish. What's all of this talk about growing old? How about proving to ourselves that we can turn the clock back 20 years? Why, dear, whatever do you mean? I mean, let's all go out on a date, just like we used to, right now. We'll go to the amusement park, ride the roller coaster. And go to the fun house. Uh-huh. And wind up at Hamburger Heaven for food and dancing. 
And if I know Adele, there'll be more dancing than anything else. The Irwins challenged the Johnsons. Who can stay on the floor the longest? Come on, girls. Let's see how it feels to go back to your dating day. Uh, <laughs> Stu, give me a hand, will oh, you? Yeah. Come on, Adele. Uh, uh, go. <laughs> Trot along, boys. We have to change. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't I tell you Francois was wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we having fun or are we having fun? Oh, yes, the best ever. I feel like 16 again. Again and again and again. <laughs> Eric, I'm beat. Oh, so am I. But we can't stop now. Uh, well, come on, girls. Let's go dancing. Oh, oh dancing. <laughs> Certainly, that's for me. Uh, of course, Harry, if you're tired, you can say so. Tired? Me? Oh. Stu, dear, you're tired, aren't you? Huh? You look awful tired. Me? No, we turned the calendar back, remember? <laughs> of course, if you girls want to go home... Oh, oh no, I thought you'd say no. You no. can't tire us out. <laughs> All right, hamburger heaven, here we come. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Ha-ha! We're baby! Mr. and Mrs. Irwin. So what? It's after school hours. We have a right to be here. Not me. I'm supposed to be studying to make up my Latin average. <laughs> what do you call that? That's nature spelled backwards. <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me a moment, Joan. I want to speak to one of my students. I'd like to have a word with you, if you don't mind. Well, look, Mr. Irwin, I've been cramming on my Latin. I really have. I'm sure you have. Uh, how would you like to do me a favor? Oh, of course, Mr. Irwin. Uh, sure, anything. You name it. Dance with my wife. Your wife? Uh -huh. Oh, oh uh, yes, of course. No, no, wait. Uh, cut in. Don't make it look too obvious. If I cut in? Oh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> oh. Oh. Excuse me now. You're lucky. I couldn't even buy a partner to dance with mine. Oh. <laughs> yes. Hey, Mr. Irwin, you're sure a slick chick. I mean, uh, a very good dancer. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. Uh, hey, Mr. Irwin, uh, come on, let's, let's dance some more. Yeah, go ahead, honey. Go right ahead. <laughs> You don't mind sitting this one out, do you, Dale? Oh, no. Uh, no, not at all, if you're tired, dear. Uh, Mr. Johnson! I just knew it was you. I recognized you clear across the room. Huh? I guess you don't recognize me without my uniform. I'm Polly, the waitress at the restaurant next to your office. Oh, Polly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, dear, this is Polly. She works down uh, near my office. Oh, I did. I told you you'd like to play. You did? And you said you were a good dancer. Well, prove it. Uh, I did. Oh, you don't mind, do you, Mrs. Johnson? Oh, no, I don't mind. I think it's perfectly darling. Well, uh, Polly, I don't feel very much like dancing right oh, now. Oh, come on. Well, come on, Sue, let's dance. Oh, Adele, Harry didn't even remember her. They're not refusing to dance with me, are you, Sue? Don't they ever run out of nickels in this place? Well, if nobody else will admit it, I will. I'm worn out. Let's go home, dear. Why, oh, chicken, you mean you've had enough? More than enough. Now, that goes for me, too. What about you, Adele? Me? 
I think Canasta's here to stay. Well, come on. I'll just read for a minute. Uh. I can't let down after all that excitement. Uh -huh. Anyway, thanks, darling, for trying to show me such a nice time. Well, I guess we're just not as young as we used to be. Sue. Uh. Sue, wake up. There's something I want to read to you. Read? Huh? Listen. Joan, read it tomorrow, please. Are you slowing down? Yes. Do you permit your mind to control your tired body? Yes. Have you submerged the zest of your youth into middle age? <sighs> then think your way to health, happiness, and eternal youth. <sighs> Stu! <sighs> Stu! Stu! Hmm? Listen. Yes. Now I know why we tired out tonight. Oh, of course. What? The world is yours to conquer. Lift your mind against the physical claims of tiredness, poverty, or the bondage of world affairs. So say the great yogi. Oh, no. Man must put himself into a state of inscrutable silence. That I like. Then he can walk over burning coals and feel no pain. Oh, this is a horrible nightmare. It can't be happening. It says here, the yogi key will unlock the mysteries of life. No. 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 <laughs> and you will learn to study with the great yogi, Yakawaka, that you are what you think. If you would be young, you must learn to think young. No. Impervious to the calendar years or man-made laws which doom us to old age and senility. Uh-uh. No. Sue, we'll start studying the laws of yogiism tomorrow. No. <sighs> Sleep well, darling. <sighs> Sleep well, darling. 